Welcome to Excel Name Trick number six. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Names series one to twelve. Hey, num trick number six, we're going to see a keyboard shortcut for naming things quickly, and then we're going to see how to use a name in account if and learn wild cards that work with the count if function. Hey, Let's click in this list right here. This is a bunch of addresses, and our ultimate goal is to count in this cell the number of addresses that have Birch. And over here, we want to count the number of addresses on the 9,000 block of Birch. So we're going to use some count ifs and some wildcards, but first, let's name this range. Now I have a keyboard shortcut that will highlight the current table. Current table means there's either a row or column header or blanks all the way around. Put your cursor somewhere in the table and then control asterisk. No way, just like that, it highlights the whole table. Now, asterisk, you use the asterisk on the number pad or else you have to do control shift eight. Not only that, that highlights the whole table, but there's a keyboard shortcut that will name. And in this case, we have a column, right? And there's a field name in the top. There is a keyboard shortcut that will automatically name the whole <coughs> column of values the very first um, na word that is in the top cell. Control Shift F3. Control Shift F3. That's the keyboard shortcut for create names from selection. And look, it's interpreting that we want the top row. And you can name it whatever you want, but I'm going to keep it there and then click OK. Now, if you don't believe it, go up to the name box and point to addresses. And there it has selected them and not the field name. Now, let's come up here. We have named that addresses, and we can use our count if. Whoops, I'm all mixed up here. Boop, boop. By the way, there's some pretty cool notes in this one, especially some conditional formatting that I've applied that you can. we're not going to do in this video, but you can look at the formula up there. Hey, let's click in this cell. We, our goal is to count Birch equals count if. Now, we need a range and a criteria. The range is equal. I'm going to, is easy. I'm going to hit my F3 key and then double click addresses. F3 is for paste name. Double click that. Now, the criteria. Here it is. There's a birch. Now, how in the world are we going to count just a word that's in the middle? Well, we're going to use this cell, but we need to tell the criteria to have as many characters before birch and after. Notice here there's one, two, three, four characters before, and here there's one, two, three characters after. Here there's one, two, three, four, five, uh, five characters before, including the space. So we need a wild card that will say, hey, look at Birch, but as many characters before or after. I'm going to type comma and the criteria. We could just click right there, but it would it wouldn't find it because there are no just birches. So I'm going to click right before here and we're going to have to put the symbol for as many characters before. And that is in quotes, asterisk, end quote, ampersand. Oops, I have an eight there. Now we have with count if, if you have um, comparative operators or wild cards like this, you got to ampersand them like that. So there's an ampersand to join the word birch, and then that uh, setup right there means as many characters before. Now we have to do it afterward too. So ampersand and then end, uh, double quote, asterisk, double quote, and there it is. Close parentheses. That will work. This little construct for criteria right here. There's our criteria. That little construct says, "Hey, find birch, but as with many as many characters before or after." Control Enter, and there's 49. Yeah, hey, this is a big list. If you click right here and Control Down, our 290. Control Home to get back to the top, and there it is, 49. Now I have my randomizing uh, formula in here, so if I hit the F9 key, you can see how it it changes. It changes. Now for our next uh, count if with a name, we want to count addresses on Birch and in the 9,000 block. We're going to have to construct a slightly different uh, criteria, and we're going to use not only the asterisk, which means many character, but the question mark, which means a single character. I'm going to scroll. Uh, let me 
before we um, type it, let's just notice a pattern here. If this were a 9 right here, that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then a B. So five spaces before when it's a uh, four number address. We'll use that pattern that we observed in our creating our formula. Equals count if. And the range is going to be addresses. So I'm going to hit F3 and then double click my at addresses, comma. Now the uh, criteria we still we need 9,000 space birch and then as many characters after so we're gonna click here to get this nine and and that way we can change this to like seven it would be the 7,000 block so that cell right there ampersand and it, since this is a nine and for a uh, 9,000 space birch there would be four extra characters in quotes, we're going to put question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, end quote. Whoa, that's a different wild card in Excel. That is a single character. So this says exactly four characters. So that would be a nine, and then any number, any number, any number, space. And now we need to do ampersand and get our birch. And then we need to do ampersand, in quotes, asterisk, end quote. Now what this does, this is going to be our 9. This is exactly four characters. This is the birch, and this is as many characters, because we could have avenue or street or birch or uh, whatever after the birch. Close parentheses, control, enter. Looks like there are five. And you could actually have had conditional uh, probability to this, and you can see in purple would be the ones that meet that criteria. So that's a little bit about names, count if, and some cool wild cards. The single character for one, and the asterisks for many. All right, we'll see you next Excel name trick.